right, so let's do some solving um, with logarithms here. So when I look at this particular um, page, I get three problems up here. And if you notice that in the first problem, x is on the right of our equal sign, the middle problem, x is the base, and in the right problem, x is the argument. So x is in three different spots here. And we're going to solve them all kind of the same way. Um, and let me show you how to do that. Pull up my tablet here. So the first one is log base 5 of 25. And we did this one in the last slide. We're just now saying that it equals x. So the way we did this is we said log of 5. And then we changed the 25 to be 5 squared equals x. And therefore, x equals 2. So let's do the next one here. So the next one says I've got log the base x of 81 equals 2. And the way I do this, I have something called do the loop. And I take my pencil and I start it on the x, and I say x to the 2, and I kind of simultaneously write it down at the same time, x to the 2 equals 81. And then I square root both sides, and I get 9. Okay. That's called doing the loop. And let's do the next one then. So the next one says, move this over here. So the next one says, log. Base 5 of x equals 3. We're going to do the loop. Put your pencil on the 5 and say 5 to the third power. Kind of write it down at the same time. Equals x. And 5 to the third power is 125. So that's how we do those problems. And then the next slide. slide says, there we go, the power property of logarithms. And this is going to be really important in solving. So notice on the left hand side you have p as an exponent, and then you are allowed to bring p down in front of, p, p down in front of the, um, in front of the log sign. Okay. So let's work on, let's do the next problem here and see how this works. So we're going to take the log of both sides and bring the exponent in the front. Let me show you how that works. All right, so here's an example right here. We can just talk through this example first. Let's talk through this. So I have 4 to the x equals 9. So I'm going to take the log of both sides. And when I take the log of both sides, the exponent x comes down in the front. And I just say that this is logging it out. That's just kind of how I say this. And then I'm going to divide both sides by the log of 4. And then I'm going to do that calculation in my calculator. And I'm going to check it with my calculator. And i got a really cool way to do this. So let me show you um, on a new problem here. So here, let's start with this one. So we've got 3... times the quantity 2 to the x equals 17. So the first thing we want to do is divide by 3. So I have 2 to the x equals 17 over 3. I do not want to calculate it at this point because I'm going to make a rounding decision too early in my work that will drastically affect my final answer. So I'm going to hold all my calculations to the end. So now I'm going to take the log of both sides, and when I do that, the x or exponent comes down in the front. So I have x times the log of 2 equals the log, and the log of the whole right side, 17 over 3. And then I'm going to divide both sides by the log of 2. The log of 2 is just some number, and I'm just going to divide both sides by that number. 
And so now x is going to equal um, the log of 17 thirds over the log of 2. Let's pull up the calculator a second and let's do this. So divided by 3, close my parenthesis, divided by the log of 2, and I'm going to round these off to four digits, 2.5025. Now, I'm going to show you something that's really a great, cool way to check these. They're really, really wonderful. So, to check them, what you're going to do is you're going to leave all these digits right up here in the calculator. And then you're going to type in the original left-hand side of the equation, 3 times 2, power key. And now I want to bring in all of those decimals by pressing second, answer. And that's your little change sign key. So what it does is it brings in all of those decimals you press enter and you get 17, which is the original uh, right hand side. Let's do another problem. Um, let me just take my eraser here and erase all these and I'll just start over here. Alright, so now we've got, let's do this one 3 e to the x equals 85. Divide both sides by 3, and I have e to the x equals 85 divided by 3. Now I'm going to take the log of both sides. Now, I'm going to use the natural log, but I will tell you you can use either. It doesn't make any difference as long as you use the same thing on the left as you do on the right. But there's an advantage to using the natural log, and I'll show you. So when we take the log of both sides, the exponent comes down in the front, I have the ln of e equals the ln of the whole right-hand side, 85 divided by 3. And now I want to divide everything by the ln of e. But you might recall that the ln of e is 1. So I really don't need to do this because the ln of e is 1. So that makes these equations just a little bit simpler. So now x is going to equal the natural log of 85 over 3. Let's calculate that out. Yeah. So we've got natural log of 85 divided by 3. 3.344. Let's check this problem. 3 now I'm going to go ahead and use that e to the x button, and then I'm going to type in second, answer, enter, and I get 85, which is my original problem. Let's go ahead and do the last problem here. Let me erase what I have here. My dustless eraser, which is kind of cool. All right, let me write the original problem up here. So I've got 3 to the quantity 7x minus 1 equals 8. Move that over. This a little bigger here. All right, so I want to solve this problem. So I want to take the log of both sides, and when I do that simultaneously, the exponent comes down in the front. Notice it came with parentheses. The whole exponent comes down. And then I have the log of 3 the log of 8. I'm going to divide both sides by the log of 3. Again, I'm going to hold all calculations to the end. So now I have 7x minus 1 equals the log of 8 divided by the log of 3. And now I want to add 1 to both sides. For space reasons, I'm just going to include it right here, plus 1. And then I'm going to divide by 7. I'm going to divide this whole side by 7. So that's what I want to key in my calculator. Let's do that one. Alright, so 
do this one. So we've got log of 8 divided by log of 3. And then I want to add 1 to that. And now I want to press Enter. And now I want to divide that by 7. 0.4133. Let's do a check. So the original problem said 3 to the power, I get parentheses, 7 times second answer. And then I'm going to subtract 1. And I want to close my parentheses and press Enter. And I got 8. So these are really cool problems because you can check them all. I really like that. And that's the end of this lesson.